Alright, so we're going to be doing a quick install video today for the 2013 Focus ST. What we're going to be doing is replacing the stock shifter cable end bushing with the needless torque calibration shifter cable bushing. And what that does is help remove the sloppy feeling you get when engaging into each gear and get more of a positive feedback which, you know, assures you you're in gear instead of just kind of not getting any type of feedback from the car itself. And to do this install, you're going to need pretty much just a flathead screwdriver. You could also use a ratchet and an 8mm socket, but it's not necessarily needed. First off, to start, what we're going to need to do is remove the air intake box. And to do that, there's going to be a strap located towards the front of the car. You just lift that up, and once you get that done, you're going to need to remove the air box itself. But to do that, what you're going to need to do is remove the air box lid to loosen up the filter and also you're going to need to loosen up the accordion style inlet hose and remove that from the intake as, as well and once you've removed that intake box lid and the air filter itself you're going to need to pull up on the box uh, you want to be careful but I also what I will say is that from my own experience installing this it was actually pretty hard to remove so It'd be best if you locate the three points where the box is attached and kind of, you know, apply most of the force there. Just be careful not to break anything. And here is one of the locations. This location is pretty much where your headlight would be, sort of in that direction, kind of uh, where that strap is that you remove. The second is going to be more towards the back of the intake box itself. It's right next to or right on the same bracket or same location of the battery box itself and the third one is going to be in the middle of the headlight itself but behind it so next to the fuse box once you remove that intake box you'll be able to directly see the shifter cable itself what you're going to want to do is place the flathead screwdriver in between the shifter cable end and the shift arm it is kind of tough to remove and at first I was kind of worried I would break something but it's just the fact that it's on there so tight so just make sure you give it enough force to pop it off I would say is kind of work your way around uh, start from the side and then just kind of work your way counterclockwise to the middle and it should come off at least that was the easiest way for me to do it I unfortunately didn't get a picture of the underside of the stock cable bushing but this here is the needless torx calibration bushing in the assembly and the stock one's going to look somewhat like that just not as the edge isn't going to be as thick it's going to be a little more thinner and uh, more of a hard type of plastic and what you're going to want to do is in between the rim of the stock uh, shifter cable bushing plastic part you're going to want to stick the flathead screwdriver in there uh, you might all you could also use a knife i wouldn't really recommend it because you could hurt yourself but if it helps it could help, you know, like as far as separating it and giving you enough clearance to put the flathead in. Um, but I still wouldn't recommend it. You could possibly hurt yourself. So once you've stuck your screwdriver in there, what you're going to do is pry up away from the assembly itself. So pretty much pushing up on the plastic piece of the shifter bushing, of the stock shifter bushing. And you're going to want to break it. Uh, I know I personally was worried I was going to damage the uh, assembly itself, but the black plastic of the stock bushing actually breaks really easily. So once you've broken that off, I mean it's going to take a it's going to it's going to take a bit cuz you're going to it's going to break off in pieces most likely so you're going to have to be working your way around the whole thing. Uh, but once that's off, this is your end product or at least this was how mine ended up and as you can tell there's a couple of rough edges on there. So what you're going to want to do is remove the rubber part itself just just pull it off or use a screwdriver and kind of lift it off of the green uh, little green plastic and once you've done that you can either use sandpaper or if you have pliers to just kind of tighten on there and just twist it to smoothen off the edges and that's going to help in putting it into the needless torx bushing and I will go ahead and say that compared to the stock shifter cable bushing which you can see here uh, I mean it doesn't really have any rigidity and it's really easy to just bend I mean no force at all and it was just it just flexes and in comparison to the NTC bushing here I mean I was pressing on it pretty hard and it doesn't bend it doesn't you know you can't squeeze it so to be able to install this or put this back together what you want to do is 
on the bottom side and the easiest way to tell which is the bottom is just the shifter cable bushing itself or the assembly of the shifter cable bushing you can't twist it like it's you're not gonna be able to pivot it or or turn it to where you know you're screwing it or unscrewing it. it's it's always gonna be in the fixed position you'll be able to turn it you know to get to the underside but it'll always turn right back to its, its own side kind of like a like a spring so once you've put that NTC bushing on the other side you're gonna want to grab the green part and kind of twist it in like you're screwing it in that's gonna help you get it started once you've gotten it started you don't even need to have it halfway as long as it's in you're good once you've got that into the NTC bushing you can either use C clamps if you have any and tighten it or squeeze it together uh, what I did being that I didn't have any C clamps is once I got it started I just laid it onto the shifter arm itself not onto the positioning but just on the arm itself and press down with my hand and pretty much just sandwiched it together so once that's done you'll just put it back on its little position the little pivot point and press down make sure you hear the little click or you'll feel the click and that will let you know that it's back in its position what you can do is just kind of you know wiggle it a little make sure it's not loose and make sure it's not gonna loosen off when you're driving uh, you can move the shifter arm back and forth make sure it's not gonna loosen or go into your car and move the shift knob but once that's done you're pretty much done and all you have to do is just reinstall everything in reverse order and what I would do is I would personally install the inlet hose back onto the intake itself before putting the box in I made the mistake of installing the box first of the air filter and then trying to install that hose and it just made it harder on myself so I would install that hose first and then the box that just makes it a lot easier and just make sure that you either hear or feel that click once you install the box in each position in those three spots where it's supposed to be in and it'll hold it in place it'll it's not going to go anywhere so pretty much just do everything in reverse order that you did to uninstall it I will include some footage of before and after the install in the before clip you'll be able to see how loose it is and the extra movement or play that it has which it shouldn't and that's part of why you have minimal feedback and it doesn't really allow you to tell whether you're in gear or not and then here is just a quick five second video of after and keep in mind that in the before video where I'm moving it with the stock bushing I'm using little to no effort to move it and in the after video I'm using more force um, as much force as the arm allows me to use before it actually you know moves into gear but I'm moving it as much as I can and it, it just doesn't move it, it has no play in it so that just about wraps up the install video just make sure again that anything you uninstalled you install it again make sure everything's tightened down nothing's loose and just you're set you're set to go in my own personal opinion I would say that for the money that it's worth which is I mean something very minimalistic it makes a big improvement on the car and just you know the quality of driving the vehicle or the quality of the vehicle as you're driving but thank you for watching hope you guys enjoyed the video um, I will have more to come as I keep going uh, just keep in mind this is a build in progress uh, I just always keep in mind if you're satisfied with it that's all that really matters uh, leave a like if you enjoyed this video leave a comment if you'd like uh, hope you enjoyed and I hope you subscribe thank you for watching